Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333386 hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing second week of november's important mcq questions the session will be important so do pay attention till the end and to all those students who are making our video for a very long term i'll suggest you all to take out your notes of this particular time period and revise them all right and once you have revised them then proceed with the video and to all those students who are watching our video for the first time to for them take out a pen and paper and start making notes let's start the first question is as per the association of mutual funds in india data released in november 2022 which state has the maximum mutual fund penetration in india just take three four seconds all right then answer it and then i'll be mentioning you the answer of each question all right so here what is the correct answer where did we see the maximum number of penetration in which state it was in maharashtra in Maharashtra, we saw the maximum number of mutual fund penetration. All right. Highly important. Also, the correct option from this is option fourth. Apart from this, if we talk about the lowest penetration, Kerala saw the lowest, Andhra Pradesh saw the lowest penetration, Telangana saw the lowest penetration, Bihar saw the lowest penetration. Next, energy efficiency BW, what is this energy BW? Basically, remember this BW is your Bureau of Energy Efficiency. So, which organization has signed an MOU with BW to promote energy efficiency finance for MSMEs? All right, the question is which organization has recently signed an MOU with the Bureau of of energy efficiency to promote the energy efficiency finances for msme so the correct option here will be sidbi that is your small industries and development bank of india has recently signed an mou with bw that is bureau of energy efficiency for msme all right so sidbi is the right answer here only if i ask you tell me purple fest logo purple Fest logo. This is launched by which state? Goa's Chief Minister Pramod Savant launched Purple Fest logo. Highly important. Similarly, next is Greg Barclay. He has been re-elected as the ICC Chairman for 
टू ईयर्स इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इफ आई आस्क यू हुज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ बी सी सी आई रॉजर बिन्नी ही विल रिप्लेस होम सौरव गांगुली नेक्स्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस वन मोर रिमेंबर ट्रीज आउटसाइड फॉरेस्ट इन इंडिया ट्रीज आउटसाइड फॉरेस्ट इन इंडिया दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम दैट ऑल्सो नोन बाय द नेम टी ओ एफ आई ट्रीज आउटसाइड फॉरेस्ट इन इंडिया दिस ट्रॉफी वॉज लॉन्च बाय दिस प्रोग्राम वॉज लॉन्च बाय विच स्टेट इट वॉज लॉन्च बाय हरियाणा गवर्नमेंट और राइट कमिंग बैक टू द क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट इज यू ए बेस्ड बैंक एमरेट्स एन डी बी डी हैज रिसेंटली अनाउंस एन एडिशनल डैश अमाउंट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इन इंडिया ऑपरेशन एंड एडेड टू मोर ब्रांचेज इन चेन्नई तमिलनाडु एंड गुरुग्राम Haryana so recently nbd that is a bank of uae has announced an additional of 100 million us dollar investment in india and they will be opening two more branches in chennai tamil nadu and gurugram haryana and currently they have one branch in mumbai maharashtra all right so correct option is here option 1 Who has recently became the first Indian scientist to be awarded 2022 Bailey K Ashford Medal and Fast MH Award? So who he will be? Subhash Bahu. All right. American Society of Tropical Medicines and Hygiene, that is your F A S T H M, and the world's largest scientific organization in tropical medicines. They have awarded the prestigious 2022. Bailey K Ashford Medal. All right, highly important. And this was awarded to whom? This was awarded to Dr. Subhash Bahu, who is an Indian physician and a scientist for the exemplary work for his exemplary work and contribution in tropical medicine. All right, so Subhash Bahu was awarded with this Bailey K Ashford Medal for his scientific work and his contribution in tropical medicines. highly important remember the name all right and remember he became the first indian to receive both bailey k ashford medal and fast mh award all right so first indian for bailey k ashford as well as for first indian for fast mh award next <coughs> Which of the following Indian business women are featured on the Forbes 2022 Asia Power Business Women list released in November 2022? So who they are? Namita Thapar, Soma Mandal, and Ghazal Alga. All these three women has been listed on the business women. Are these are the three business women from India who have featured on the Forbes 2022 Asia Business Asia Power Business Women list? All right. If we talk about Soma Mandal, she is the chairperson of Steel Authority of India Limited. If we talk about Ghazal Alga, she is the co-founder and chief innovation officer of uh, Honasa Consumer Private Limited, also known by the name Mama Earth. And Namita Thapur, she is the executive director and for Indian business in M Q R Pharma. M Q R Pharma. She is also known as Pharma. Next, World Quality Week from seven to eleventh of November. We observe World Quality Week. Next, who has been appointed as the chairperson of the twenty second Law Commission of India? Important. So remember, Government of India has appointed a chairperson and member of the twenty second Law Commission of India after four years. Tell me who has been appointed as the twenty second Law Commission of India now? Rituraj Avasti. Justice Rituraj Avasti has been appointed as the twenty second Law Commission of India. All right, highly important. His commission will have a term period of three years. All right, highly important. Next, the DRDO launched the submersible platform for acoustic characterization and evaluation facility. That is space. Space stands for submersible platform for acoustic characterization and evaluation facility. Space for sonar systems of the Indian Navy at the Naval Physical and Oceanographic Laboratory. Tell me the location. It is at Kochi, Kerala. Highly important. All right. 
So the correct option is option fourth. Who has recently became the first Indian American to hold the office of Lieutenant Governor in Maryland? Important. I repeat, who recently became the first Indian American to hold the office of Lieutenant Governor in Maryland? Aruna Miller is the correct option. All right, highly important. She is an Indian from Andhra Pradesh. She was she was born in Andhra Pradesh. Apart from this, friends, if I ask you some more questions, such as tell me world's first Vedic clock, world's first Vedic clock, where this will be established or this will be installed at Ujjain. This will be at Ujjain. Highly important. All right. What is the theme of the G20 that was released by Prime Minister Narendra Modi? As we know, India will be having the presidency for G20. So the theme was Vasudev Kutumbakam. Also, all right. Moving on. Who was recently honored with the Global Indian Award by the Canada Indian Foundation? Tell me. <coughs> Who was honored with the Global Indian Award by the Canada Indian Foundation? He will be Anil Agarwal. Alright, he is the Vedanta founder. And if you remember recently Vedanta and Foxconn came together to start the manufacturing of semiconductors in Gujarat. Or we can say to make Gujarat the semiconductor manufacturing hub for semiconductors all right so anil agarwal was honored with the global indian award worth fifty thousand us dollar by the canada india foundation all right and he donated the award money to the canadian health charity working for the welfare of native indians next tamil nadu they have notified the kaveri south wildlife sanctuary there so remember this also Next is RBI. They have issued a license for FT Cash to set up a non-banking financial company and aims to disburse a loan worth how much amount? They plan to disburse a loan worth 100 crore rupees in the fiscal year 2023. So option one is correct here. All right. Also remember RBI issued the license for this F Cash. That is a small and medium enterprise. All right. Next. Justice Dhananjay Yashwant Chandrachud. He is D.Y. Chandrachud. Also, he is the 50th Chief Justice of India. Highly important. Question can be asked to you directly that who became the 50th Chief Justice of India. He will be Justice D.Y. Chandrachud. Who was the 49th Chief Justice of India? Justice Uday Umesh Lalitji. He was the 49th. And if question asked that Justice Dhananjay uh, D.Y. Chandrachud will replace whom he will be replacing justice uday udesh lalit ji <clears throat> next if i ask you that the constitution of india which constitution of india states that there shall be a supreme court of india consisting of chief justice of india what is the article here it will be article 124 part 1 Similarly, first name the article of the constitution that deals with the appointment of an acting chief justice of India. So if asked about appointment, it will be article 126. All right, moving on. Which Indian state will host the 2023 Khelo India University Games? First of all, tell me the earlier edition of Khelo India University Games were hosted by which state? Karnataka. Who topped here? It was topped by Jain University. Now the question asks is who will be hosting the next Khelo India University Games? It will be hosted by Uttar Pradesh. All right. Highly important. And this will be the third edition in Karnataka. It was the second edition of the games that were hosted. Next. England has won the T20 World Cup by defeating Pakistan in the final. So remember this also who won the T20 World Cup? It was your England. Next, as per the Statista infographics, the world's biggest employers, employers with the most personal worldwide. That means here it is asked that which is the uh, 
organization that is providing the biggest employer that is the world's biggest employer with 2.92 million people so it will be your ministry of defense of india all right mark this important <coughs> next which organization recently introduced bhim app open source license model with an aim of achieving digital payment for all so it was launched by whom it was launched by national payment corporation of india apart from this if you remember npca also signed a mou with world line so that they can increase the use of upi in europe so correct option here is national payment corporation of india next which organization recently signed an mou with japan bank for international corporation to promote and enhance japanese investment into india another important question so it was which indian department it was your national investment and infrastructure fund limited that is your niifl signed an mou with jbic that is your japan bank for international corporation so that japanese investment can increase in india if asked that which is the country with most number of foreign direct investment in india it will be singapore <clears throat> next the bharat sanchar nigam limited received approval from the government of india to sign 26821 crore rupees order with whom for bsnl's 4g network it was your tcs tata consultancy service highly important all right so correct option is option 4th next when do we observe children's day it is observed on 14th of november in the memory of whom children's day is observed in the memory of whom in the memory of chacha nehru highly important next who has been recently appointed as the friendship ambassador of switzerland tourism another important question he is really very famous by the name golden boy he is from haryana he has won a gold medal for india in the tokyo olympic games in javelin throw he will be neeraj chopra next when was the united nations world science day for peace and development observed with the theme of basic sciences for sustainable development when do we observe this day it is on 10th of november that we observe this day and you have to remember the name of the theme also that is important basic science for sustainable development which country will host the 2029 asian winter games so the asian winter games for the year 2029 will be hosted by saudi arabia fifa world cup that is going on right now is being hosted by qatar another important thing morgan freeman inaugurated the ceremony then malabar exercise malabar exercise is remember it was japan and indian navy that took part in this malabar exercise along with usa and australia because quad nation took parts in this exercise now the question can be asked is location where was this held it was in japan where held this exercise all right then prasthan prasthan is an offshore security exercise that was conducted by indian navy prasthan then yuddha abhyas yuddha abhyas is a india and us joint military training where was this held this was held in uttarakhand all right and then sea vigil sea vigil was the exercise that was conducted by the indian coast guard and indian navy and it was the third edition of this exercise all right who will be hosting then tell me women's world boxing championship for the year 2023 this will be hosted by india who won the men single 2022 paris masters title he is holger rune he defeated novak djokovic in the final and this was his first title as the paris masters title all right then who became the first player to score 4000 t20 international runs he will be virat kohli then khelo india national university games will be hosted in which state it will be hosted in uttar pradesh then who will be hosting the under 19s men's t20 world cup it will be hosted by sri lanka all right and then tell me who has launched fit india school week mascot by the name tufan and tufani this was launched by 
पी वी सिंधु एंड इट इज़ फिट इंडिया स्कूल वीक मैस्कॉट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट ऑल राइट दैन हु वन सिल्वर मेडल एट द एशिया बॉक्सिंग चैंपियनशिप एट द एशियन बॉक्सिंग चैंपियनशिप हु वन द सिल्वर मेडल दिस वॉज वन बाय शिवा थापा शिवा थापा ऑल राइट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट देन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस रिमेंबर वेन डू वी ऑब्जर्व उत्तराखंड फाउंडेशन डे उत्तराखंड फाउंडेशन डे इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन नाइन्थ ऑफ नवंबर ऑल राइट एंड ऑन नाइन्थ ऑफ नवंबर ओनली रिमेंबर नेशनल लीगल सर्विस डे इज ऑल्सो ऑब्जर्व देन आर्मिस्टिक डे ऑन इलेवेंथ ऑफ नवंबर वी ऑब्जर्व आर्मिस्टिक डे ऑन ट्वेल्थ वी ऑब्जर्व वर्ल्ड न्यूमोनिया डे ऑन ट्वेल्थ ओनली रिमेंबर पब्लिक सर्विस ब्रॉडकास्टिंग डे इज ऑल्सो ऑब्जर्व ऑन थर्टींथ ऑफ नवंबर वर्ल्ड काइंडनेस डे इज ऑब्जर्व देन ऑन फोर्टींथ ऑफ नवंबर चिल्ड्रंस डे नेशनल चिल्ड्रंस डे देन ऑन फिफ्टींथ वी ऑब्जर्व झारखंड फाउंडेशन डे जनजातीय गौरव दिवस इज ऑल्सो ऑब्जर्व ऑन फिफ्टींथ ऑफ नवंबर इन द मेमरी ऑफ बिरसा मुंडा जी नेक्स्ट विच स्टेट गवर्नमेंट लक्ष्मी भंडार स्कीम हैज बैग द स्कॉच अवार्ड इन द व्यूमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट कैटेगरी आई रिपीट दिस गवर्नमेंट स्कीम दैट इज लक्ष्मी भंडार स्कीम आस्ट हेयर इज दैट विथ स्टेट गवर्नमेंट लक्ष्मी भंडार स्कीम हैज बैग द स्कॉच अवार्ड इन द व्यूमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट कैटेगरी इट विल बी योर वेस्ट बेंगाल हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट वेस्ट बेंगाल गवर्नमेंट लक्ष्मी लक्ष्मी भंडार स्कीम हैज बैक द स्कॉच अवार्ड इन द वीमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट कैटेगरी एंड दिस अवार्ड इज बेसिकली अ रिकॉग्निशन फॉर द गवर्नमेंट एज वेल एज द नियरली टू करोड़ वीमेन ऑफ द स्टेट हु हैव बीन एम्पावर्ड बाय दिस पर्टिकुलर स्कीम दिस स्कीम वॉज लॉन्च बाय द वेस्ट बेंगाल गवर्नमेंट इन द मंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन टू प्रोवाइड फाइनेंशियल सपोर्ट टू अ वीमेन हेड ऑफ अ फैमिली इन द एज ग्रुप ऑफ ट्वेंटी सिक्स और ट्वेंटी फाइव टू सिक्सटी ईयर्स ऑफ एज नेक्स्ट इन विच सिटी इंडिया फर्स्ट नेशनल रेपोजिटरी फॉर लाइफ साइंस डाटा द इंडियन बायोलॉजिकल डाटा सेंटर वॉज सेट अप बाय द यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट जितेंद्र सिंह इन द मंथ ऑफ नवंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सो वेयर वॉज दिस लॉन्च इट वॉज इन फरीदाबाद हरियाणा हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज इंडिया फर्स्ट नेशनल रेपोजिटरी फॉर लाइफ साइंस डाटा विच इज सपोर्टेड बाय द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायो टेक्नोलॉजी नेक्स्ट सर बंदा सोनोवाल अ यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ पोर्ट शिपिंग एंड वाटरवेज अनाउंस टू प्लान टू लॉन्च द वर्ल्ड्स लॉन्गेस्ट रिवर क्रूज ऑफ 4000 किलोमीटर दैट विल बी फ्रॉम वाराणसी इन उत्तर प्रदेश टू डैश इन डैश दिस विल बी फ्रॉम वाराणसी टू डिब्रूगढ़ वेर इज डिब्रूगढ़ इट इज इन असम वेर इज वाराणसी इट इज इन यूपी ऑल राइट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दिस द लेंथ ऑफ दिस विल बी अराउंड 4000 किलोमीटर एंड दिस विल बी द वर्ल्ड्स लॉन्गेस्ट रिवर क्रूज सो करेक्ट ऑप्शन हेयर इज ऑप्शन बी विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिसेंटली अनाउंस्ड टू लॉन्च ऑफ इट्स साइक मिशन टू इन्वेस्टिगेट अ प्रीवियसली अनएक्सप्लोर्ड मेटल रिच सिक्सटीन साइक एस्ट्रॉयड इन द ऑर्बिट ट्वेंटी in the october 2023 so this mission was launched by whom it was launched by nasa artemis it is a mission of nasa then if we talk about jaxa jaxa is the space agency of japan european space agency it is of europe spacex it is a privately owned company by elon musk it is the <coughs> owner or elon musk is the owner of now twitter spacex tesla Boring Company, Neuralink, Starlink. All right. Then apart from this, if we talk about NASA only, as I just mentioned, Artemis mission was launched to Moon. Then if we talk about ISRO, ISRO is planning to build their own space station by the year twenty thirty. All right. And in the first time in history, a private company launched their own rocket, Vikram. and this was developed by which company what is the company skyroot aerospace this rocket was launched by whom by isro from satish dhawan space center that is in sri hari kota andhra pradesh next nagaland observed toku imog festival all right this toku imog festival among this at 3 4 days toku imog bird count festival was also 
celebrated here this was of around nine days and in this four five days festival by the name toku imog bird count was also observed what is the state they where we observe this toku imog festival it is observed in the state of nagaland and lotus is the tribe where which observe this particular festival next which state will host the khelo india university games in 23 24 we just mentioned it will be your uttar pradesh and this will be the third edition all right in karnataka it was the second edition and here jain university secured the top position <coughs> What is the theme of the World Usability Day that was observed across the globe on tenth of November? Tell me. I repeat. What is the theme of the World Usability Day that is observed on tenth of November? So the theme will be our health. Highly important. All right. And the first time, if the officer say the first edition of this World Usability Day, it was observed on tenth of November in two thousand. Five. Next, National Education Day, twenty twenty two, was observed across India on eleventh of November to celebrate the birth anniversary of whom? So, National Education Day is observed on eleventh of November in the memory of Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad. Highly important. All right, he was our first education. Minister of Independent India. All right. In twenty twenty two, we observed his hundred and thirty fourth birth anniversary. All right. He was awarded with a uh, Abdul Kalam Azad sir, Doctor A P J Abdul Kalam sir. He was awarded with Bharat Ratna in nineteen ninety two. All right. Highly important. And the first edition of this award was a uh, or this. day that is national education day was observed in the year 2008 that is on 11th of november 2008 next maricom sindhu pv sindhu mirabai and keshavan as you can see these four individuals they have been elected into the international olympic associations athletes commission important next which country will host the fifa world cup 2022 as i just mentioned it will be hosted by Qatar all right highly important next which company recently signed an mou with the inland waterways authority of india to build india's first hydrogen fuel cell catamaran vessel and electric hybrid vessel this will be developed by csl now tell me what is csl cochin shipyards limited all right so Cochin Shipyards Limited recently signed an MOU with whom with Inland Waterways Authority of India and the reason is to build India's first hydrogen fuel cell catamaran vessel for Varanasi UP and it will be built for Varanasi UP question can be asked also this highly important all right also remember CSL has signed an MOU to construct an electric caravan vessel from UP to assam all right and we know the biggest cruise ship for 4000 km will also be from varanasi up to dibrugarh assam next which of the following countries was recently removed from the united states currency monitoring list along with italy and mexico it was your india thailand and vietnam so all of these three along with italy and mexico these were removed from the currency monitoring list of united states of america highly important and remember india has been on this particular list from the last 2 years all right now the currently countries that are part of this currency monitoring list are of usa's country monitoring list are china japan korea germany malaysia singapore and taiwan these are the seven countries that are currently as a part of the currency monitoring list of usa who has been elected as the independent chair of the international cricket council for a period of 2 years i repeat who has been elected as the independent chair of the international cricket council for a period of 2 years who he will be he will be greg barkley we just saw mm-hmm. and if question asked that greg barkley remember was the first appointed as the independent chair in 
November 2022 and now he will be re-elected and this is his second term. Now if I ask you, I have told you this question also, who will be the new president of BCCI? He will be Roger Binney. Next, next is which state is promoting sheep farming in the state or union territory? It will be your Jammu and Kashmir. Next, in November, China has launched its cargo spacecraft Tiangzhou 5 to deliver supplies to its Tiangong space station using which rocket? So remember, there are two modules that has been sent. That is your Mantian space module and Ventian space module. All right. And now it was a cargo spacecraft Tiangzhou 5 that delivered the Tiangong station, the cargo there. So apart from this, which rocket was used to deliver this cargo spacecraft to the space station of China that is Tiangong space station. So the rocket that was launched used here was Long March 7 Y6 rocket. Shlok Mukherjee, he is the winner of the 2022 Doodle for Google competition in India for his motivational doodle title India on the center stage. So question asked here is that Shlok Mukherjee, he is from which state? He is from Kolkata, West Bengal. All right, highly important Shlok Mukherjee. Also remember, this year the contest of this Doodle for Google competition received around 1,15,000 entries and among this they were from first to 10th class for from over 100 cities across india and in this he was the winner shlok mukherjee next the tamil nadu government notified the kaveri south wildlife sanctuary as their which wildlife sanctuary we just discussed about it it was the 17th wildlife sanctuary of that was recently declared by tamil nadu state all right and this is the 17th wildlife century of the Tamil Nadu state of not of India remember of Tamil Nadu state so correct option option fourth next India rises two spots in the climate change performance index to the eighth position so what is the rank of India in the climate change performance index it is your eighth next which airport has recently received the aerodrome license from the DGCA that is your directorate general of civil aviation so which airport recently received the aerodrome license from DGCA? It was your Jaipur International Airport. Highly important. This aerodrome license is given to an airport operator for ensuring complete management of that particular airport in accordance with the concession agreement. Next, according to the Indian Bank Association's report, Ease Reforms Index for the first quarter of the fiscal year 23 was released in November 2022 that was adjured as the best bank in adopting reforms prescribed for the public sector banks. So which bank it will be your which bank it will be your state bank of India that was adjured as the best bank in adopting reforms prescribed for public sector bank so correct option option three next who was recently awarded the united kingdom's royal order of the merit by britain's king charles the third i repeat who was recently awarded the united kingdom's royal order of merit by britain's king charles the third he will be whom who was awarded Venkata Raman Ramakrishnan was awarded the United Kingdom's Royal Order of Merit by Britain's King, King Charles III. Highly important, friends. All right. And remember, in 2010, Venkata, Venkata Raman Ramakrishnan was also awarded with Padma Vibhushan for Science and Technology. All right. Next. In November, Natasha Park Musar has become the first female president of which country? She is the first female president of Slovenia. Next, ESAF Bank has topped the ESG ranking that is Environmental Social Governments rating. So it is your ESF Bank that has topped it. Next, when was the 25th World Kindness Day observed across the globe? So the 25th edition of the World Kindness Day is observed. When do we observe this? It is observed on 13th of November. Highly important. And here the basic aim of the campaign or the campaign that was launched for this 25th edition of the World Kindness Day will be One Voice for Kindness. It is One Voice for Kindness. This is the campaign 
फॉर द ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ वर्ल्ड काइंडनेस डे एंड द फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड काइंडनेस डे वॉज ऑब्जर्व ऑन थर्टींथ ऑफ नवंबर इन नेक्स्ट वेन वॉज द यूनाइटेड नेशंस वर्ल्ड डायबिटीज डे ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस द ग्लोब वेन डू बी ऑब्जर्व वर्ल्ड डायबिटीज डे इट इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन फोर्टींथ ऑफ नवंबर अक्रॉस द ग्लोब एंड द फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड डायबिटीज डे इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन फोर्टींथ ऑफ नवंबर इन टू थाउजेंड सेवन देन यू नीड टू रिमेंबर द थीम ऑफ दिस डे दैट इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन फोर्टींथ नवंबर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन हेयर इज लेट मी राइट ऑप्शन फाइव दैट इज फोर्टींथ ऑफ नवंबर सो करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन फाइव सो द थीम दैट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर इज एक्सेस टू डायबिटीज केयर दैट इज एक्सेस टू डायबिटीज केयर दिस इज द थीम फॉर द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री फॉर द वर्ल्ड डायबिटीज डे और राइट देन दिस इज फॉर द रिमेंबर दिस थीम दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस इज द एक्सेस टू डायबिटिक केयर और राइट ऑल्सो एजुकेशन टू प्रोडक्ट टूमोरो इज द थीम ऑफ द सेकेंड ईयर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड डायबिटीज डे फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन कैंपेन सो दिस इज फ्रॉम वी कैन से ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू बिकॉज द होल कैंपेन वॉज फॉर टू ईयर्स फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री नाउ द सेकेंड थीम फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री विल बी एजुकेशन टू प्रोटेक्ट टूमोरो दैट इज एजुकेशन टू प्रोटेक्ट टूमोरो so these two are the themes for 21 to 22 and 22 to 23 for this particular campaign that was from 2021 to 2023 next as per the open doors report that was released by institution of international education in november 2022 more than 2 lakh indian students chose dash as their higher education destination in 2021 to 2022 academic year as more than 2 lakh indian students chose united states of america as their higher education also our report stated that maximum number of students graduation after graduation they are opting to go out of india for their higher studies next november 2022 in india conducted dash edition of the largest pan india coastal defense exercise that was sea vigil 2020 to so remember this sea vigil 2022 this was the third edition of the coastal defense exercise this exercise was conducted between whom but it was hosted by indian navy remember first thing all right it was hosted by indian navy along with indian coast guard in order to protect the the coastline of india so that no attack can happen from any coastline of india all right they were taking care or this particular exercise was to along the coastline of 7516 km along with the exclusive economic zone so this was the third edition of the sea vigil exercise next in which city of kerala india hydrogen alliance i to ih2a that is your india hydrogen alliance partnered with kerala government to set up the kochi green hydrogen hub so where will this kochi green hydrogen hub will be set up as the name suggests kochi so this will be in kochi kerala next the competition commission of india will handle all goods and service tax anti profiteering complaints from which date from 1st of december 2022 remember the competition commission of india will handle all goods and service tax anti profiteering complaints from 1st of december 2022 all right highly important apart from this if i ask you virangna seva kendra virangna seva kendra this was launched by whom this is a single window facility virangna seva kendra it was launched by indian army then odisha plan to become slum free by the year 2023 all right then who co-chaired the india us ceo forum this was co-chaired by piyush goel ji then remember recently who flagged off the south india's first vande bharat express train it was your prime minister narendra modi then remember which station got the four star eat right station certificate it was your bhopal railway station that got the four star eat right station certificate then who launched green energy open access portal green energy 
open access portal who launched this it was launched by rk singh then where will be the 41st india international trade fair begin that is ittf where will this begin it will be in new delhi then who will be building india's first hydrogen fuel cell catamaran vessel and we discuss this it will be your cochin shipyards limited that will be building it then next tell me who is building india's first multimodal logistic park india's first multimodal logistic park this is being built by reliance industries and where this is being built it is being built in chennai then tell me the seventh edition of the amur falcon festival amur falcon festival where is this being celebrated this is being celebrated in manipur seventh edition of the amur falcon festival in manipur then tell me 46th edition of the vangala festival 46th edition of the vangala festival where do we observe this this is hosted in meghalaya where do we host this in meghalaya highly important all right then apart from this tell me g7 nations recently launched a fund what was the name of the fund for climate it was shield fund that was launched by g7 for climate what is the rank of india in the climate change performance index india was ranked as 8th then which country is to become the world's most populous country by the year 2023 it will be india and this report was released by whom united nations apart from this tell me moody has slashed down the india's gdp growth rate from 7.7% to what to 7% all right highly important then who has been appointed as the chairperson of national monuments authority he will be kishore basa he has been appointed as the chairperson of the national monuments authority then tell me one more thing gorav divedi gorav divedi he will be the new ceo of prasar bharti highly important all right gorav divedi will be the new ceo of the prasar prasar bharti so that's all for the day friends i hope you have enjoyed our session if you find the session to be interesting all you have to do is comment below and let us know what are your views on such sessions all right so that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue